Happy Friday, Chargers, and welcome to another episode of DP News. I'm Tara. I'm Kaya. It's DP News, and it starts now. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here's Scotty G with more information about prom and after prom prizes. Good morning, Chargers. This is Scotty G reporting to seniors on prom and after prom. We want to make sure that you buy your prom and after prom tickets. They are still available. Remember, we have a limit of 300, but right now they are still available online. Right now, I want to read off some names of people who won prizes because they did buy their after prom tickets. So the following people are winners, and you can claim your prize on Monday at lunch in room P2. Emmett Ernstein, Grace Yishak, Claire McKenzie, Jocelyn Delgadillo, Kellen Tressler, Viviana Cruz, Brett Cochran, and Juan Casillo. Please come and claim your prizes for After Prom because you bought your tickets. Buy your tickets online and you may win next week. Um, some of the top grand prizes are an Oculus Quest 2, AirPods Pro, iPad newest generation, Beat Solo Pro headphones, Nintendo Switch, MacBook Pro, Sonos Move Speaker, and cash prizes. So there's a ton of prizes at After Prom. If you buy tickets, then you have a chance to win those prizes. Those are the grand prizes that will be given out at the end of the night. Thank you very much, Chargers, and have a great Friday. The Sustainable Future and Kindness for Kids Clubs teamed up with Gravity Water, a nonprofit organization that works to combat the global water crisis. On Sunday, May 16th, there will be an all-day fundraiser at Kyle's Kitchen where a portion of profits will go towards Gravity Water. Come join us and bring your friends and families to support the fundraiser. Make sure you pick up a flyer around school or check at Gravity Water DPHS on Instagram for the flyer. SBCC's enrollment service team will be celebrating our incoming seniors to SBCC with the signing day 2021. It will take place on Saturday, May 22nd from 9 to 11 p.m. Register at sbcc.edu slash enrollment services. Now here's Hedda with one of our spectacular trailblazers, Quinn Steffen. I'm here with trailblazer Quinn Steffen. I have a question for you. What extracurricular activities do you do in or out of school? Yeah, so in school, I'm a member of the Voices of the Community Club, and we put on Her Festival and Gifts of Gratitude, and I was a part of a book club. And then out of school, I'm the chair of the Santa Barbara Youth Council, which is an advisory board to the Santa Barbara City Council. That's very cool. Um, I have another question for you. Uh, what, what do you advise? In the Really anything that um, someone has recommended, like this year we were talking about the future of State Street um, and then also we partner with a lot of community organizations um, throughout the city to uh, support youth in the community. Okay, thank you. Back to the studio. DP Spring Musical Pippin is happening next week on Friday, May 21st and Saturday, May 22nd. Tickets are limited and on sale now at dptheatercompany.org. If you are taking AP tests digitally, you must complete these steps three days before each exam. Log into the College Board app and select Start Exam Setup. Make sure you do this before each exam. Once again, if you do not do this at least 24 hours before each exam, you will not be able to test. Contact Ms. Dominguez in the office if you have any further questions. I'm citing my sources that I stole this from a student. So what do you call a cat with three legs? I don't know. What do you call a cat with three legs? Try tip! Oh, <laughs> that's so good. Funny Friday, everyone. Funny. Now it's time for a sports recap. Girls basketball took the win last night against San Inez with a score of 47 to 34. Sophomore Yvette Allen and Layla Chisholm provided energy and toughness that set the tone for a successful second half. Great job, girls. Boys basketball lost yesterday against San Inez 58 to 63. It was a tough game, but unfortunately, the Chargers couldn't quite pull out the win. Good job, boys. Swim had a meet today, yesterday, against San Marcos, ending with a final score of 82 to 98 for girls and 79 to 101 for boys. Coach Kuga says the loss was tough, but some standout swimmers made CIF qualifying times. Girls swimmers Andrea Bish, Natalie Murray, Holly Maxwell, Bryn Graham, Brittany Gamble, and Caitlin Robinson all individually qu qualified for CIF, as well as boys Alexander Kennard, Cooper Costello, and Nikolai Carrillo. Nice job, Swim. Boys soccer had a match against Pacific High School yesterday, ending their season with a loss of 0-1. The loss was tough, but Coach York was proud of the teams for sticking with it through a tough year. Now let's take a look at our top two sports plays. 
Baseball and softball both play Santa Barbara today away at 3.30. Wrestling has a match against Santa Barbara today at home. Boys lacrosse play Simi Valley away at 7 and track has a meet tomorrow against San Inez at 10. Good luck to all. That was mine. Happy Friday Chargers. End the week with a fun club meeting and check out all the clubs that are happening today. Latinx Alliance Club is meeting on Zoom today. Korean Language Culture Club and Film Club are meeting in H16. Junior State of America is meeting in H9, and Sustainable Future Club is meeting on Zoom. All Zoom links for clubs, as well as the full list of clubs, is available on dphs.org. Have a happy Friday, Chargers. Back to you, Kaya and Tara. Now we're going to send it to Becca with an interview with one of our talented DP students. Hey, Chargers, it's Becca, and I'm here with Javen, the creator of the J Show movie. Can you tell us why we should watch it? I really do think it's worth your time because I spent about six years on the movie and there's a lot of DP students who are voicing it, so you might recognize a lot of the voices. And um, yeah, I mean, I think the movie's real funny. It's a lot like Ren and Stimpy and Ed's World, if you remember, if you remember those shows. And uh, yeah. Cool. So make sure to tune in tonight at 9 p.m. Back to you guys in the studio. Well, Chargers, that's all the news we got for you today. Have a great rest of your day and remember to go to dpnews.org or the DP News YouTube channel to watch our live sports. We will see you on the next episode of DP News. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching.